Okay. <laughs> Why am I? No. Okay, um, I wrote this yesterday and I uh, haven't really put the timestamp and all of that. I just says, uh, terrorists, gangsters, the mob have control of planet Earth. We, the public, they are prisoners, hostages of this global elite. Very few are fighting back. Um... Let me read this. Those resisting this tyranny are Russia, Iran, Houthis, China, and North Korea, all labeled as the bad guys from the perspective of the West. It's like Orwell's 1984. Good is bad, up is down. In this case, the countries fighting for humanity are labeled bad. The disinformation propaganda of the Western populace is massive. Today, these countries are the enemy. I mean, today, uh, what I'm saying is today, from the perspective of the West, today, uh, the country, when I said these countries, you know, these countries are seen as the enemy. Tomorrow, it will be you, you know, like. <laughs> I haven't seen Hunger Games, but I think that's where maybe, maybe they'll start hunting people. If these global cabal get their way, it is to appear in totalitarian nightmare away, awaits us all. Maybe not now, but in a few generations, or maybe even less than that, who knows. Wake up, people. I have a very bad feeling about the future. I think we're headed towards total war. These elites don't want to give up, and the Western populace is too compliant, and their leaders too stupid, ignorant and arrogant to understand the implications of what's happening here. I'm not saying all leaders, I'm, I'm saying. The, the people who are making it, the politicians are being manipulated. These elites want World War Three. and that's the only way for, to save the Western economy. And these fools are walking right into it, playing into their hands. Things are really bad. I don't think the public knows how bad it is. Hybrid war. I believe the Taiwan earthquake was caused by China using earthquake weapons. News of tensions in that area with the Philippines and the U.S. special ops in islands near Taiwan. I think the Chinese wanted to send a message to the Americans to back off. I think there is a war happening right now that is kept mostly hidden from the public. This war involves the use of fused directed energy weapons, destroying food production sources such as grazing land and factories, cyber attacks, AT&T hack, Baltimore Bridge. I don't know if the I don't know who did the AT&T hack that, but anyway, soft power economic, you know, uh, the. Connell, sister-in-law, getting murdered. Yes, I believe that was an assassination. That's my opinion. I don't have evidence for it, but I think that <laughs> that seems likely. If you look into this further, you can find many examples. Uh, so the war doesn't have to involve conventional armies and nuclear weapons, so it could involve that also. Uh, here's a video which talks about hybrid war. It's a good summary. It's, very, it's like short, one minute or something. Imagine earthquake being used as a weapon of war. I think the Turkish earthquake was caused by a human actor. So any time it'd be involved in a non-human intelligence, some, you know, I don't know, it's possible. Here are some, some videos on, talking about harp, being, Japan being threatened with harp. Uh, this is in Antarctica, there's a, earthquake weapon and this guy was working there we talked about it so 
Now, having said all of this, and, and I'm sort of characterizing the West as the bad guys and the Chinese as the good guys, but I guess I, I want to also go try and think beyond the good, uh, bad dynamic uh, and think of this in terms of global actors. You know, I don't know. I, I think the Chinese can be very ruthless. <laughs> I think they can be ruthless. And, and uh, the Russians too. The problem is you have to be Unfortunately, you have to be ruthless, meaning that you know you, you might have to do these kinds of operations. I mean, the, the, the United States, I believe the U.S. is also engaged in threatening and causing earthquakes and all of these things. I don't think they're like angels. That, so it's like, unfortunately, in the absence of... You know, when people don't respect, or it's like power. When it comes to international relations and countries, uh, as a country, if you don't have the, you know, if you're if you're a small country, you're gonna get bullied. So you need to fight back. You know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't like this. I mean, obviously, I don't know if anyone likes this, but unfortunately, yeah, countries, I, I'm, I'm not supporting this. I'm not advocating for violence. I'm just saying it's just a, a matter of how things work. If you don't have force, the, uh, you will get bullied. And, um, you know, why did Russia go into Ukraine? Was, was Russia being a bully or was Russia provoked? I mean, the Russians kept on telling uh, the West, hey, don't do this thing, this project you're setting up in Ukraine to try and take us out. So there was ample warning. You know, the, the Russians gave the West, hey, don't do this. There's that memo, no means no. <laughs> but they kept on doing it, so the Russians had to respond. Because if you don't respond, just like this stuff with uh, Iran and Israel, I mean, Israel just assassinated one some Iranian general in, in, in an embassy. And if the Iranians don't respond, I mean, it's like countries, I, heard, I read this somewhere, if, you don't re if countries don't respond, the the other one will escalate so there has to be deterrence i'm not saying i'm not saying i'm, I'm not advocating for violence <laughs> i'm just talking about how things work so i don't want to be like uh, you know i don't want i don't want anyone uh the government coming down because i i live in a country that <laughs> i I don't know, I'm not advocating for violence. I'm just simply talking about how things work. And it's just like international relations, if countries have to be ruthless in order to maintain their interests, in order to maintain their statehood, protect their populace. Uh, I mean, mutually assured destruction. These are just principles of how international relations work. So, um, but you know, these. I. Th why can't we have independent sovereign states? Like the, what did Putin say? The vampire bomb, the the Western elites, they want to have their way. They want they want to dominate, control the whole planet. They're not the good guys, you know. Forget about that whole psyop about the West being good. Look at what's happening in Palestine. I mean, in Gaza. That's this whole psyop thing. We can forget about that. It's about different countries, different having their own interests. And this is a video on the
Palestine situation and then the, the, um, Gaza, um, Iran, Embassy, Tech. This is a good video on it. I haven't watched, I've only watched the first one hour, no, 10 minutes. I haven't finished watching it. But I feel like I can't talk freely about this because I am. <laughs> I I am not in a country where I can express things freely because I will be cancelled or put in prison. I, I really feel that way. I don't think I have the freedom to speak my mind in this country because I feel like I will be put in prison. There is no freedom of speech in Australia. It's not it doesn't exist. So and I'm not advocating for violence. I'm just talking about how things work in international relations. So I don't want the Australian Federal Police were coming and knocking on my door. Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so, yes, I. There's. I think there's a lot going on under underneath the surface. Like I'm just sort of. I'm, I could be wrong about the China. I mean the Taiwan earthquake, but I think that that's. I feel like that's that's definitely like a, the timing of it all, the whole tension in the I think in the South China Sea with the whole build. I, I feel like the timing was perfect. So anyway, I think we are in a very bad situation. Things could escalate. Look, NATO wants to build a huge military base in Romania, and the France wants to send. I mean, it. it this is how things start. They, they, it's, they, they're setting people up to psychologically prepare them for actually getting into the war and next year, five years from now, they, they want to do this war and the war is going to, and I feel like some of these elites, they want the war because the economy is failing and this is their way to get a reset and, and, and people should wake up, don't, don't, don't play into their hands. All of them, all of these elites. I mean, look, the Chinese, the, the Russians, the Iranians. Why don't? Why can't we let them exist as independent states? Why do these? Yes, I am blaming the West here. This is this colonial, neo-colonial, this whole bloody uh, repression and oppression. I mean, why can't we have a multipolar world? The price you pay will be earthquakes in your cities. Do you want earthquakes in your cities caused by state actors? Are you really that insane? People should really think about this.